In this video, we're going to calculate a Laurent series. Um, so let's have a look at the question. Calculate the Laurent series expansion for the following function about the given point C. So here's my point C that I'm expanding about. Here's my function uh, valid for the given region. So we'll start off with the first one. So we're looking at question B, I. Okay, so the first thing to start with is a graph. If you're not drawing graphs, you're going to make errors. So let's have a look. We have singularity at negative 1 and singularity at negative 3. So that's the first thing is to locate your singularities. Okay, the next thing is to realize the point we're expanding about. So we're expanding about the point 1. We need it. We're looking for a series convergent in the annulus of radius 2 and radius 4. So from the point z equal to 1, radius 2 will take us to this singularity. So we have a circle, whoops, we have a circle of radius 1 about the point 1, and it has to be less than a circle of radius 4, which will take us to that singularity. Okay, we'll generally always pass through singularities. If not, well, we'll have a look at that at another time. Okay, so we're looking for a series that is convergent in this annulus. Okay, so I'm just going to sketch that out. We're looking for a power series representation. So let's just write down what we're trying to find. Keep this in mind. What we're trying to find is a power series. Power series for f of z. That's convergent. Convergent in the annulus. So convergent for uh, in the annulus. 2 is less than mod z minus 1 which is less than 4. Okay, so all the z values, minus 1, the modulus of that from the origin, have to be between 2 and 4, and that will give us this region here. So that's what we want to do. Okay, so we need to determine for each singularity what sort of series we need to find. So I'll just choose an appropriate color. So for this singularity at negative 1, it's, we need it outside the circle of radius 2. So we need a, a Laurent series for this one. Okay, so big L there. And for the singularity at negative 3, we need it to converge inside the disk of radius 4. So we need a Taylor series for that one. So the next thing to do is to use partial fractions. Okay, so 1 on z plus 1 times z plus 3. Okay, that is equal to some number a on z plus 1 plus some number b on z plus 3. Okay, so the a on z plus 1 corresponds to the singularity here, so we're going to need a Laurent series for this term, and the function b on z plus 3 corresponds to this singularity, so we're going to need a Taylor series for this term. Okay, so we need to solve for a and b, our partial fractions. So a times z plus 3, so a, a times this thing, plus b times z plus 1, has to equal the numerator in our function, which is 1 in this case. So a times z plus 3 times a, plus b times z plus b, has to equal 1. So now we look at the coefficients of z. On the left hand side we have a plus b and that has to equal the coefficients of z on the right hand side. So if you like we have a plus 0z just to make it a bit easier. Okay, So plus 0z so this has to equal 0. Now we look at the constant coefficients or the coefficients of z to the naught we have on the left hand side 3a plus b and that has to equal the co constants on the right hand side which is 1. So from this equation, from equation 1, I get that a must be negative b. Okay. So I sub that into equation 2 and I get if a is equal to negative b, negative 3b has plus b equal to 1, negative 2b is equal to 1, so b is equal to negative a half.
Okay, if I got b equal to negative a half, a must equal positive a half. Okay, so now I've solved for this thing. So let's come over here and write it. I've got 1 on z plus 1 times z plus 3 is equal to a half out the front, a, which was positive 1 on z plus 1, and b, which is negative 1. So b will be negative 1 on z plus 3. So I've got my two expressions, and if we go back to our graph, the z plus 1, we need a Laurent series for. So a Laurent series for this one, and a Taylor series for this point. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's first find the Taylor series for 1 on z plus 3. Okay, so we're expanding about the point 1, z minus 1, in the question about the point 1, have a look at the graph, we're about the point 1, so I need to get z minus 1. Okay, if I subtract 1, I have to add 1, and don't forget the plus 3. So that is 1 on z minus 1, oops, don't know what happened there, that is 1 on z minus 1 plus 4. Okay, so the next thing is, because it's a Taylor series, I need to get rid of this 4. So that becomes a quarter out the front, 1 on 1 plus z minus 1 on 4. Just swapping around those two terms. And now I'm ready to write that in the summation. That is a quarter, n equals 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the n, z minus 1 to the n on 4 to the n. And whenever we write a power series, we have to write where it's convergent. And that's going to be for mod z minus 1, this term to the power of n, less than this number here, 4. Or you could look at the graph and realize it's a circle of radius 4. Okay, so that's the Taylor series. I've got this one now. Good. Done. Now we've got to find the Laurent series for this term. The Laurent series. Okay. So 1 on z plus 1 equals. So now I've got to expand about z minus 1 still. So it's going to be z minus 1. Don't forget to add 1 if I subtract 1. And I've still got a plus 1 here. So that becomes 1 on z minus 1 plus 2. Next thing is to take out the 1 on z minus 1. The reason for that is because we need to expand with z minus 1 in the denominator. So it becomes 1 on 1 plus 2 on z minus 1. Alright, now I can write this term, ready to write this term as a summation using the geometric series. So I haven't gone through that in great detail, and I expect you to uh, be able to know that from the tutorials. n equals 0 to infinity. And then this becomes negative 1 to the n, because this is plus 2 to the n, because that's in the numerator, divided by z minus 1 to the n. And that simplifies n equals 0 to infinity. I'll bring the z minus 1 in now. Negative 1 to the n, 2 to the n on z minus 1 to the n plus, oops, n plus 1. Just clean that up a little, plus 1. Okay, and remember, whenever we write a series, we have to write for where it's convergent. That's going to be mod z minus 1. This thing is greater than this number 2. Again, you could just get that from the graph. Realize we have a circle of radius 2. Also, from the question, has to be greater than 2. All right, so now I have my Laurent series here. So now I'm ready to write this out as my final answer. It's equal to a half times the, the Laurent series of 1 on z plus 1, which is over here. Okay, so I'll try to do it from memory. A half. n equals 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the n, 2 to the n, on z minus 1 to the n plus 1. And now it's minus a half, so just expanding out that bracket, times the Taylor series, which is this thing. So I've got a quarter, 
n equals 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the n, z minus 1 to the n on 4 to the n. Okay, I'll just clean it up and I'll write my final answer over here. So it's equal to a half n equals 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the n, 2 to the n on z minus 1 to the n plus 1, minus an eighth n equals 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the n, z minus 1 to the n on 4 to the n. Okay, so that is my overall expansion, and this thing converges for mod z minus 1 is greater than 2, and this thing converges for mod z minus 1 is less than 4, hence the whole thing will converge for this thing, this annulus, and that is the annulus we needed to find. Okay, so please leave me any comments if you have any questions or queries, and I will respond to them.